All right, next we've got there Sir Hacha. And um, let's see what we got here. Ingredients we got red bell peppers, garlic, rice vinegar, pineapple juice, ghost peppers, Thai chili peppers. Carolina Reapers, Umami Bomb Seasoning, Shiitake Mushroom, Brown Sugar, Tomato, Vrikake, Sesame Seeds, Sugar, Seaweed, and Salt. That's what's going to be in that seasoning. Togarashi, Sesame Seeds, Szechuan Peppers, Ginger, Orange Peel, poppy seed and seaweed is also going to be in that seasoning uh, smoked paprika mixed peppercorns bonita flakes truffle salt nutritional yeast onions garlic fennel seed anchovy allspice basil and kosher salt um for those that have never used anything like fennel seed fennel seed is awesome especially paired with meats um, so that makes for a great mixture into a hot sauce. Um, love, 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 love fennel seeds. Don't feel like they're used enough. Um, so this is their Sir Hacha. Yeah, let's see if I can get a little close up on that label. The lay, the artwork is absolutely phenomenal. It's definitely very, very cool. Okay. My camera's being a little crazy. Very, very, very cool artwork. this guy open here okay let's see what we got going on here Oh, yes, sir. Mm. The the flavor profile that's going on is definitely like a, it, it's definitely a sriracha, but a little bit more pepper forward, which not, I mean, I, I don't discriminate, you know what I'm saying? So, mm, 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 mm. Let's go try this out. Uh, sriracha is definitely one of my favorite sauces, though, so I am going to be very harsh with my critique on this. I'm going to take it personally. That's also another thing TNT said. They said they wanted the harshest review. They don't, they don't want me to mess around. Honesty is the best policy, as we all know here at the Church of Hot Sauce. So I'm going to always give straightforward answers. Even if you were my friend as the producer, I'm still gonna give you a straightforward answer on your product. I've given out some threes and fours. Now, it doesn't, so far it doesn't smell like this is gonna be a three and a four, but let's just see. Mm. Consistency's nice. It's a little too pureed for me, um, but when you're going for like a, like I like a little bit of more texture with a sriracha sauce. I think that's what we're all used to after using the, you know, the classic sriracha. I'm not going to name names, but the Red Rooster sriracha. Um, the sugar definitely comes out a lot in this. Um, and I, uh, because of like the umami flavor and the seaweed aspect, it's almost like it's a more of a fish aspected sriracha it's very unique um again a little bit different almost like a like a like that chill that thai chili sauce that we all see that's the orange one that you see in the mar in the asian markets it's almost like if you mix that with sriracha and this is this is the baby that they had it's very unique very different um i'd probably give it like a seven and a half a 7.2 7 or to a 7.5 um, it's interesting. 
not super blowing me away, but it is, it's very unique. And there's nothing wrong with that to get another little taste here. Yeah, it definitely has like a, like I said, it's, 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 um, mm, it was good. Um, using that on some dumplings. Fire. Um, yeah, a nice little 7.2, 7.5 out of 10. Nothing wrong with that sauce. Go pick that bad boy up. That's going to be Sir Hatcha from TNT Spices. Yes, spicy. Uh, heat level on that one, it was like non-existent. But it's a table sauce, so you don't really want, the, again, that's not something that you want to blow your brains out with. That's it's something that you want, like, nice and subtle, a little bit of creep of heat, uh, nothing crazy. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Definitely a little different. Okay. Next we got the 